thanks for uh, doing the honors. Alberto, thank you for coming uh, to Hyderabad on a short notice. Thank you very much uh, also for considering to bring Formula E to Hyderabad. Thank you to you and the entire team. And a big, big thanks to Dilbag and Kiran for making this happen. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for uh, this quick turnaround. Arvind Garu, Malsur Garu, Sujay, Akhil, and of course, uh, and the principal promoter of this event, uh, the arrangement between uh, Formula E and uh, Government of Telangana, Green Co. Anil Garu, thank you very much for coming forward to you know, enthusiastically support the initiative, enthusiastically promoting our city, our state. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for coming forward. Firstly, I think uh, the gentlemen from Formula E, the entire team, you know, for their quick uh, response to us, they deserve a huge round of applause from all of us. Because, uh, as Sujay was mentioning, in fact, the competition is immense. People all over the world, you know, cities all over the world actually want Formula E to race in their city and they compete with each other. So there's only one Indian city that actually could potentially be on the map and that is now, officially we are on the candidate list. So therefore, I hope fervently and sincerely that the race will happen in Hyderabad between November of this year and as uh, Alberto put it, possibly February, March of next year. Looking forward to that because, of course, everything today's world uh, depends on the pandemic and how things happen, etc., etc. So, therefore, we're keeping that bit of cushion. But I'm very confident, very hopeful that we will see a brilliant race happen right here in our own city because we have everything in place. Now, just um, quickly, you know, let me point to a few other things that I think are important. The whole world, in fact, uh, is right now we, what, what we get to hear, especially in the last few decades and last, last few months and last few weeks, more particularly uh, when it comes to sustainability, is the commitment of various nations, various cities, various states towards sustainability, towards green. In fact, as you all know, our Honorable Prime Minister as well actually committed to making India net zero by 2070 in the recently held uh, COP26. Now, my friend here, Anil, in fact, uh, we were speaking about a few years ago and he said, you know, there was a mantra, the 3D mantra, as they called it in, during the manufacturing era, define, design, deliver. But now the new 3D mantra, what he was espousing and what he was telling me is, you know, digitize, decarbonize and decentralize. I think that is the way the world is headed today. And in fact, yesterday when we were speaking about this event, he told me possibly we need to tweak it a bit more and we need to say, after the pandemic especially, and the whole world is starting to relook at their strategies, especially with respect to industrialization. I think what is also happening is a reindustrialization, a disruption through decarbonization. If you look at how the automobile industry particularly has changed over the last few years, I think what's very, very evident is the advent of EVs, the whole idea of decarbonizing, the whole idea of reducing vehicular pollution, reducing industrial pollution, and how to make our planet more and more sustainable, more and more efficient for our children, for the future generations. Well, we all know our Honorable Chief Minister, Sri KCR Garu, takes environment extremely seriously and extremely, uh, uh, you know, it, it, it has got immense importance to him. In fact, um, Telangana, as was pointed out in the video that was uh, shown before, has done extremely well in the last seven and a half years when it comes to uh, our energy challenges, meeting our energy challenges. In fact, uh, our electricity output grew fourfold in the last seven years. But most importantly, I think uh, the point that we need to focus on is 20% of this is actually coming today from solar, from green energy, which I think is a laudable effort considering the size of Telangana geographically. Because there are far bigger states in India in terms of geography, in terms of size. But beating all of them, coming to the second uh, you know, rank or usurping the second position, in producing green energy is something truly a testimony to the Honorable Chief Minister and his leadership. And the flagship program of our Honorable Chief Minister, because he always reminds us, especially um, as Industry Minister, when I, whenever I interact with him, you know, he reminds us that industry, industrial expansion is important, but it cannot be at the risk of, at the cost of environment. Therefore, he has launched a massive program of greening called as the Haritaharam which literally translates, to, translates into a green necklace for Mother Earth. That's what it translates into. And through this program, 
in the last seven and a half years, we have been able to plant, you would not believe this Alberto, but you can definitely check it. We have been able to plant more than two billion saplings in Telangana and more than 85% of these have survived, taking our green cover to um, a massive increase of 632 square kilometers in the last two years alone. And today, in fact, I'm happy to also share with you another reason why Hyderabad should be a uh, host city for Formula E is because we are the city in the country, in India, that tops on highest greening in the last decade. Our green cover grew by 147%. So therefore, you said you've been to Delhi. You said you've been to Delhi before. We've crossed Delhi, we've beaten Mumbai, we've beaten Bangalore, we've beaten Chennai. I think we are that city that truly can claim to be a city that focuses on greening, to be a city that focuses on sustainability. Therefore, a most logical, natural choice to host Formula E as well. And um, I also wanted to point out a couple more things. Our EV policy, our electric vehicle and storage policy, moving away from fossil fuels to um, you know, EVs is something that we take very, very seriously. And it's one of the most progressive, most forward-looking policies launched in the country and a great step, a uh, great forward step towards creating a clean, green, sustainable environment for ourselves and like I pointed out to our future generations as well. There will be a day, not so, in the not so distant future, where almost every vehicle driven by all of us, in fact, will be an electric vehicle. This is bound to happen whether we like it or not. This is only because I think, uh, like I pointed out, governments across the world, people across the world have now come to the realization that climate change is real, what is happening is real, therefore we need to also start acting and start really you know, delivering on the promise. We are going to also witness a revolution of electric vehicles in India. And Telangana state, in fact, wants to be the epicenter of this revolution, of this activity, and we want to be at the forefront, leading the entire country. So therefore, why Formula E? Why should, you know, why Telangana is so keen to have him here? is because I understand that Formula E from the FIA family is one of the fastest growing sports uh, you know, um, among, among the world. Its viewership, in fact, is more than half of Formula One and is increasing every year quite rapidly in the last eight seasons. Probably by the end of this decade, its popularity may be equal uh, to that of Formula One. In fact, Formula E promotes electric mobility and renewable energy solutions. And that's where I see a great fit between Green Co. and uh, the FIA family. It also brings together the leaders of automotive industry who pioneered, the, who, pi who have pioneered the electric vehicle transformation transition, such as Nissan, Jaguar, Porsche, Mercedes, Audi, BMW, and Maserati, and most significantly our own team, led by Dilbag Gill, our Mahindra Racing, our pride of India. Now, Dilbag, I've heard that you, you guys uh, stood third in Berlin, but I think with home advantage in Hyderabad, you might actually be the champions, you might have a podium finish. So I wish you all the very best and let's, uh, let's hope that Hyderabad with all the home crowd cheering for you in India, I hope uh, we'll actually do much better than what you've done in Berlin. Now today we signed an agreement uh, to be the candidate host city, but I'm very hopeful and very confident that we will be hosting the race. And we also want to ensure that around this race, whenever the dates are announced, we want to ensure that around this race, we, when we join the leagues of Rome, Paris, London, Hong Kong, New York, Berlin, Monaco, among all the other 18 cities, we also want to ensure that the city's image, the social infra, the city's image also, in fact, is given a huge fillip because of this event. We also will want to promote more awareness around EVs. We also will uh, encourage more innovation happening in this space. So therefore, Whenever the event happens in the next uh, few months or in the, at the end of this year or possibly the first uh, quarter of next year, we will also be hosting uh, an EV summit. You know, it would be a three-day event. So we would also want to bring in all the leading EV players in the world to Hyderabad. We would want to interact with them, understand from them, and what are all the technological changes, you know, all the charging infrastructure companies that are there in the world. We would want to, you know, uh, come there, come, we would want to bring them to Hyderabad, Telangana, understand exactly how Telangana can play an important role in making sure India also gets really, really far, uh, you know, on the fast track to uh, you know, EV revolution. Hyderabad is one of the fastest growing cities in India and is also 
rated by JLL as the most dynamic city in the world. It continues to remain among one of the most livable cities in India. In fact, Mercer uh, has been rating Hyderabad as the most livable city in India among the living standards last five years in a row as the number one city in India. Now, it continues to build on its infrastructure. We continue to add more road infrastructure. We continue to add more urban infrastructure under a very ambitious program uh, run by the government of Telangana called as the Strategic Road Development Program. We, have also, we also have uh, world-class uh, you know, convention facilities in the form of HICC. And we also are, in fact, a huge, truly, truly cosmopolitan city where the north meets the south and where the entire uh, world actually comes to uh, a confluence point. Our government, in fact, has ensured that if you really have to live up to the billing of a global city, we also need to be able to assimilate cultures. We also need to be able to add to the social infrastructure. We've also made sure that, uh, you know, not just, uh, not just uh, you know, the rich heritage and history of Hyderabad, but also the new age vibe that comes with modern industries such as information technology and others are also truly blended in with the wonderful rich heritage and culture of the past. We also, in fact, believe very strongly that... Uh, with Formula E coming to Hyderabad, we will be one of the most electrified states in the country in terms of mobility. And we also have a lot of plans for mobility. In fact, we are working with uh, several large uh, auto manufacturers, automobile manufacturers and others to set up a mobility cluster in Hyderabad about which, in fact, I'll be disclosing more in days to come. We want to make sure that EV adoption becomes easier. We also want to make sure that the charging infrastructure companies come in, work with TES Redco and others to ensure that uh, the people of Hyderabad, Telangana are uh, given better access to EVs. And we also want to ensure, more importantly, that we create a manufacturing ecosystem for electronic, electric vehicles uh, in Telangana. Toward that, in fact, uh, we already have received a great deal of interest from several electric vehicle manufacturers. We have uh, two industrial parks which are dedicated toward this, you know, uh, one in a place called Sitarampur in uh, Shabad and another one in uh, Divitipalli. We also are, in fact, uh, going to be home to about four electric bus manufacturers who will start uh, their factory construction soon. And uh, we also are, in fact, now in discussions with three cell manufacturing companies and uh, we are going to also announce those plans very soon. We want to ensure that uh, the manufacturers who are interested in you know, um, lithium-ion battery manufacturing and cell manufacturing are also given encouragement. And uh, we also would like to encourage battery recycling plants uh, because that is going to become a necessary industry in future to fit into our overall vision to reduce carbon emissions. Now, once again, before, uh, without boring you with more details, Formula E racing in Hyderabad is the right fit, in my humble opinion, to become, for, for Hyderabad to position itself as an EV hub in India, and it is a feather in our cap. I believe that Formula E is more than a race. It's not just about 24 cars racing each other. It is a perfect union of future technologies, sustainability, and most importantly, spirit of innovation. It is a significant medium to spread awareness about electric mobility in our country. It shall spur the spirit of racing towards an electric future, shall capture the imagination of our youngsters, new industrialized future, new decarbonized future, a better future, and we are excited to be a part of this wonderful initiative. Once again, I thank Alberto, Dilbab, Kiran, and the entire team, and I thank the entire uh, media fraternity and everybody in attendance here also for encouraging and supporting us. Thank you. Jai Telangana.